Hi there, lesson 7.2. We're gonna quickly show you how to do multiple screens and it is really easy. Um, the first thing to do is we might do a couple of cameras because the idea is each screen can show something different in a camera. So I'm just gonna close down some of these windows um, and I'm gonna create another camera. So I'm just gonna click anywhere, right click, uh, camera. So now I've got a second camera here. I'm just gonna drag that out, spin it round, try to give a different point of view so it's really clear that it's different. There we go. Okay, now I've got a camera here. Oh, let's, uh, get, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll move this one up here so it's easy to select them both. I've got my main camera, which is looking from the front, and I've got camera, which is looking from the side. And you notice when I created this camera, it changed the view in my game mode. So in the settings here, you have got an option. Ooh, let's just go to camera and see if we can find it. Um, to choose where it can go to, output, display one. So the target display for this one is display one. Uh, so it's overridden my main camera because they both set to display one. So I'm gonna change, change this to display two. And you see, we've got eight different displays that we can choose from. So there's eight monitors you're allowed to run at one time. Choose display two. Now that one has disappeared because this game engine is set to display one. If I change this to display two, we go to the other camera. Easy as that, okay? Um, if I create a new tab, add tab, game, I can now have two tabs, one for each uh, camera, and I can drag that out, and I could have on this on another monitor looking one way, and I can have this one on another monitor looking another way. Um, and that's how you do multiple monitors, you can have eight of those. If you want to build this into um, an app though, once you get over four monitors, there's a bit of code, a C-sharp script you need. It was literally the first ever C-sharp script that I, I copied from the internet and reworked, I uh, made, uh, made work for what I was trying to do. We did a show where we wanted live content on eight different screens. It was a Aladdin's cave. Uh, so I had eight cameras projecting to eight different displays and I built out an app where there's a space bar to turn on the scene, fade up, fade down, uh, to make you know real-time 3D content on stage. And this is how I did it. And there was a little bit of C-sharp scripting. If you're running an editor, you can create as many of these as you want. You know, we can just keep creating uh, game windows, each one, you know, increases your, your processing. So you'll start to see, you know, if you put those stats on, you'll notice that they'll start to go down. Let's drop to 20, 27 frames per second now. Um, if I hit play, we'll see the content running at the same time in all three game windows. Oh, and it's still loading my window uh, from web page from the C-sharp scripts we did. So there we go. And the frames, FPS has dropped to 60 because now it's running three windows. So that's the downside of this. You're pushing it a lot further. Um, so that could be useful if you want to have, you know, if you're in a studio environment, and you want to have you know, uh, cameras looking at different things. The other thing that could be quite useful is if you have got a user interface, you don't want it in your 3D view, you can move it away. You can tell that canvas, if I click on this canvas here, uh, get rid of this window, I watch my FPS jump back up again. Uh, I can say what display it's gonna run on. So I could say, don't run display one, run display two. And there, is, there it is, it jumps over there. I could say, play it on display three, which doesn't have a camera, and now I've got display free. Actually, if you put a camera in there and make it black just to get rid of what's already in there. In fact, actually, I think if I change this, if I turn it off, set to display three, hit play, I think it should just load my UI. Oh, and there we go, another window. Um, there we go. So I've got no cameras rendering, but I've got my UI over here on a separate monitor to my 3D display. So that's where it could be quite useful. Um, and there you go, that is multiple displays. Right, the last thing we've got to do is we've got to build this project out. So let's um, let's go into that in the next lesson and that, that will be the end of the course. We'll just have one more lesson after that to sum up. See you in the next one.